Soybean fields are a little bit different in western Oklahoma than they are in, say, eastern Oklahoma, and they also carry different weed problems too. And well, we're in northeast Oklahoma right now talking to Joe Armstrong. Joe, what are some of those uh, weed opportunities in uh, north, northeast Oklahoma that you may not see in, in western Oklahoma? Well, there's all sorts of different weeds, uh, especially in the northeast part of the state. Uh, they get a little more moisture up here, so things can be a little more aggressive. Uh, morning glory is a big weed problem up here in the northeast part of the state. Um, but they also have a lot of the weeds that they fight you know, around the country, around Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Pig weeds, uh, mare's tail, Johnson grass, yellow nutsedge. There's a whole host of, of weeds. Uh, here in northeast Oklahoma as well, uh, the pigweed problem is a little different. I think right. they're looking at uh, probably more cases of herbicide resistant pigweed up here. Well, you mentioned resistance, but you're also finding uh, some of those resistance in the soybeans also. Yeah, there, there's several different types of, of herbicide-resistant soybeans available. Of course, Roundup Ready or, or glyphosate-resistant soybeans have been around for a while now. Um, newer varieties that have come out in the last couple of years, the uh, Ignite uh, or Liberty Link soybeans, uh, gives farmers an opportunity to use a little different herbicide in there that, that's broad spectrum uh, that can pick up some of those weeds that glyphosate may be having more problems with. Uh, and a lot of farmers are also uh, going back to conventional soybeans and using a lot of those old herbicides that, they, that they're that they used to, uh, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Um, but using those and having a little bit different marketing opportunity and, and different weed control options there. What what are you finding in those in those in in the studies that you're doing with those? Well, what, what we're doing uh, here in particular is looking at some of those conventional herbicide treatments that farmers could use uh, pre-emergence. Right. Uh, whether it's in conventional soybeans or, or uh, one of the herbicide resistant soybean varieties, um, the opportunity to use additional herbicide modes of action is very important uh, to help uh, fight off potential resistance uh, development in weeds. And so in this study here, we're looking at, uh, I think it's 23 different treatments, looking at pre-emergence herbicides and, and basically doing some evaluations here, trying to see what would fit in, in Northeast Oklahoma uh, and trying to see what kind of weed control we can get from these different products. Joe, you talked about uh, some of the pre-emergence. What are some of the benefits of pre-emergence? Well, it's really kind of a multi-tiered uh, set of benefits for a, for a farmer in terms of weed control. Mm -hmm. First would be that when they use those prior to planting, they're going to get uh, improved early season weed control. So that crop's going to have the early advantage against the weeds, whereas you know, if, you, if you weren't using a pre-emerge, they're both going to be competing for moisture and nutrients, at least early on. Um, the second is that it, it lets you use a different mode of action mm -hmm. uh, in your herbicide program. So if you're relying solely on glyphosate, you know, chances are you're fighting some of the same weeds year after year, maybe morning glory or right. yellow nutsedge, where, right. where glyphosate's just a little bit weak on those. Uh, if you use a different herbicide in there, you'll, you'll be able to pick up uh, and improve control of those weeds. And then, and then the third uh, benefit would be that uh, the, the weeds, you're going to have a fewer weeds, and also uh, they'll be growing a little bit slower. So when you do need to come in with that post-emergence application, it'll give you a little more cushion in terms of the timing. You know, normally we'd like to see weeds sprayed when they're between four and six inches tall, preferably towards the lower end of that. Uh, but with that pre-emergence treatment, you'll, you'll have a little slower growth. So if you have a lot of acres to cover or you, know, you get caught in rainy weather like we've had here lately, uh, you'll have a little more cushion and won't see that yield drag with right. the weed and crop competition. It'll, it'll buy you a little more time whenever it comes to spraying and, and uh, controlling your weeds. Exactly. A man outstanding in his field, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Armstrong. Thank you. Thank you.